Hey guys, welcome to day six from broke to booked out. Ugh, this one's not going to be as exciting. I just finished up um, a conference, if you guys had seen in my last video. Um, so my husband has a side business and he sells these video game shadow boxes with an Etsy shop. And um, we went to a like gamers conference this weekend and yes there's lots of nerds and people dressed up as characters it was so much fun though we had a great time and um so we just got back it was in philadelphia so we just got back like last night and i'm exhausted for three days of this conference but it was such a good time we sold out here's where he usually keeps all of his like stuff we were all, we sold out of all these bins there's a whole bunch of bins over here they were stacked full of all of his shadow boxes sold everything it was so much fun it was awesome my husband got to talk with people about video games and his favorite ones and like he just enjoyed it so much and i just love seeing him have fun so anyways guys welcome to day six from broke to booked out i'm so excited oh and while i was at the conference i got this thing and it's fucking amazing can you guys see this all right so over here it says this princess saves herself which is so cool and she's like and then it says bitchin over here like over there and so it's like this whole cool barbie picture but she's like a fucking badass i was so excited when i saw this this guy's name is rob shields and he creates these and i was so excited when I found this thing. It was amazing. I bought another one and this is going to be like, I'm actually doing a photo shoot in August for my new brand. And this is going to be like my inspiration. Less like video gamey because I'm not actually really into video games like my husband is. Um, but definitely with like the Barbie and empowering women and like she's just like this princess saves herself. And like all of that's totally going to be like my brand inspiration. All right. Anyway, guys. Day six, broke to booked out. If you have not watched day five yet, I pre-recorded it and then put it in the group and it is like seriously amazing. It's on fire. I'm so excited in the whole video. You guys have to watch day five. It was so much fun. Um, okay. Anyways, day six is about your marketing strategy. So um, I wanted to take you guys through all the, the week before was really about getting your mind in a good place. And now that we've gotten your mind in a good place, now we can actually talk about the action that has to happen now, all right? So when we talk about creating a marketing strategy, what I always want for my clients to do is first get to a good place mentally um, to get them to be ready and amped up to start putting themselves out there. So out in front of their customers, out in front of clients, doing things like live videos, which a couple of my clients just did if you are in the 15% program, you know what you just did this past week and it scared the crap out of you. Um, but also just to do things that would generally scare you. So if you're in a good mindset place, right? If you're feeling confident about your business and you feel, yes, Christine did it. <laughs> if you're feeling confident about your business, if you're feeling excited about your business, if you're feeling momentum around your business, then that leads you to actually doing things that scare you, right? Like doing things like live video, um, doing things like asking someone for a sale, doing things like asking to be published somewhere. So a lot of those things are kind of, you know, like really scary for people. Okay. So when it comes to your marketing strategy, now that we have your mind right, we have you confident, we have you ready, we have you amped up to take your business to the next level. And we have you in a good place of, I'm not going to let anything get in my way. I'm not going to have any more blocks to get in what I want. Right. All right. So now we're going to talk about what are the actual steps and the plan to get to that place? So here's the thing. I'm half woo-woo, half woo-woo kind of stuff. So I believe in psychology, self-help. Um, I believe your thoughts, your habits, your beliefs make up everything. Um, I believe they determine how much money you're going to make. I fully and totally believe in that. Um, but I also am a practical, logical side to me. So while I love all the woo-woo stuff and I know it is extremely important, then I always like to take the next step with my clients and get more into what are the practical steps that we now need to take in order to get to the place where we want to be. So when it comes to your marketing strategy, first what I want you to do is 
set the goal and set right now just set a 30-day goal so everyone here set your 30-day goal for your marketing strategy how much money you want to make how many clients you want to do and now remember when we went back to day one from the broke to booked out challenge we made a decision so the decision that you made should be in line with this goal so if your goal was you know you decided you were going to book three clients then for this 30-day goal you know say if you wanted to book three clients in two months or book three clients in three months for this 30-day goal it could be book one client this month all right so we start out with where we are going and then what we have to do is we have to break it down so we have to say okay that's where I want to go so I kind of like to think of it as like setting the GPS in your car and saying this is where I want to go and then we break it down kind of in reverse like reverse engine engineering I think that's what some people call it and then we break it down in reverse okay so I want one client I want two clients I want to make this much money now reverse it back and say okay in order to get to the one client you can think about in terms of how many people do I need on my email list how many people do I need to like in my Facebook group how many people do I need to have liked my Facebook page um, and then you can actually do it by percentages so we know that one to three percent of people that's the average conversion rate so if you say you want to sell a course or you want to book a client within the next 30 days what you would have to say to yourself is okay I know conversion rates are around one to three percent how many people would I need in order to get one five three whatever the number is that you're looking for and now that number applies the one to three percent applies to your email list um, it can also apply to Facebook groups I'm not actually sure if there is a like solid average conversion rate for Facebook groups but it always helps to in some way be building your community your list and your people all right so here's your goal then it's how many people do I have on my email list here and whatever and you know does that align with where I'm trying to go so if I only have 10 people on my email list and I want one client by the end of the month well let's see my email is not going to work that way I also need to add in some other strategies in order to book that one client right so you have the goal then you have to reverse engineer it and say okay here's the goal now what are the steps I need to take backwards from that in order to get there so for me it could be say like when I want to hit the 10,000 I want to hit 10k months consistently all right want to hit 10k months consistently how many people do I need on my email list to convert at one to three percent in order to get you know 10 people signed up in my group coaching program so if I wanted to convert the one to three percent I need around 12 I think it was 1200 people 1200 is 12 is one percent is 12 so 1200 people would be great right because then at one percent I could get 12 people to convert so I would need to know is this making sense for everyone or am I scaring you guys off with these statistics okay so I would need to know before I hit that number okay I need 1200 people on my email list now let's reverse engineer that how do I get more people on my email list if that's what I need for the one to three percent conversion rate right see I didn't have 1200 people on my email list well I need to build my email list up first in order to get to that number all right so say you guys set these goals and then you're like Shannon I don't have right I don't have this many people on my email list but I really want the one client what else can I do and there's so so many different things you can do all right let's take the one to three percent conversion rate again okay what you can do is you can reach out to say let's say you want one this is how bad I am with math guys. I think I would reach you would need to reach out to 10 people is that right <laughs> for the 1% conversion rate if you want to book one client reach out hey Christina you would need to reach out to 10 people reach out to 10 people personally reach out to 10 people that you know could really benefit from your service either they're maybe getting married or you know they're gonna need your service so then you would reach out <laughs> good I'm glad I'm not the only one so that's why we're creatives like we're not like <laughs> <laughs> I love to talk about money but I am terrible with math right all right so let's say you don't have that number on your email list that converts at the one to three percent in order to reach your goals what you would do is reach out to ten people 
reach out to 10 people if you want to sign up one person. All right, guys, so this is what I'm talking about, the conversion rate. So I would need to reach out to 10 people personally, get them like interested or no, let's say I know that they need my services, they would be interested in my services. <laughs> I don't, now I'm confused, Christine. <laughs> Is 1% of 100 is 10, correct? Someone answer me. My husband should probably just yell at me. He's good with that. 1% <laughs> of 10 is 1. Right, guys? Can someone answer this for me? <laughs> All right. Let's just go with that. I'm just going to go with that, even if it's wrong, just so you guys understand the concept. All right? So, if I reach out to 10 people, <laughs> if I reach out to 10 people and I need... 1% of them to convert. Let me ask my husband. Babe, what's 1% of 10? Okay, if I need one person to convert, I need to reach out to 100 people? Yeah. Okay, so Christy knows right. Christy knows right. All right, I need to reach out to 100 people <laughs> to get one person to convert. You're right, Christy. <laughs> okay, so then what I would do is say, I don't have the people on my email list. I need to reach out to 100 people within these 30 days and pitch my services. Does that make sense, guys? Now that I have the math right, does that make sense? Because you don't want to reach 0.1 people. <laughs> okay. All right. So you can reach out to 100 people or connect with 100 people in 30 days and then that could be how you get the one client or what you can do is you can say all right Shannon I have an email list of like 50 to 70 people all right and then you can continue to give them value and then continue to pitch them at the end of that then you can reach out to the other extra another 50 people and then you can continue to give them value and then pitch to them and that's how you can reach the one client in a marketing strategy way if you don't have the list right now okay now there are also multiple other ways you guys can actually get this one client it's like I could go to a networking event and connect with 10 women and get them in my circle it's all about just building your bases and I'm gonna get in that into tomorrow's lesson about building your bases it's just about getting you out there and getting you known and it's really simple but we just kind of complicate it in our heads and we kind of hide and we don't really get in front of people and that's what marketing is it's just about connecting and getting in front of people and that's as simple as it can be so does anybody want to give me their goal that they're looking to make and then we can reverse engineer it and come up with a little mini marketing strategy for you so I want you to create a goal within 30 days, the goal that you want to reach, and then what we're going to do is reverse engineer it and come up with a marketing strategy for you. And for anybody else who hasn't seen this amazing picture that I got this weekend, just look at this thing. It's amazing! I'm so excited about this. Over here it says, oh wait, I can't see this wrong. This princess saves herself. This is so cool. This is amazing. I'm so excited about this. This is going to be like the inspiration for my new branding photo shoot in August. So oh, excited. All right, bye. Who wants who wants me to reverse engineer their goal? Someone give me a goal, please. And then I'll reverse engineer someone's goal. Yay, Christine says, okay. Christine wants one high end. <laughs> I love what you put the dollar side of there. I want one high end client and two mid money clients. I'm just gonna <laughs> this is. All right, so in total. In total, just for me to get this clear, Christine, you need three clients. Now, I know there are different money tiers and different packages, but in total, you need three clients. Now, Christine, I'm going to ask you for some information. <laughs> oh, Christina, um, her name is Amber Lee. She's based in, like, South, South Jersey near Philly. Um, Amber Lee. She does, like, boudoir and stuff like that. So it's a mix of boudoir and a mix of branding. It's going to be really, really fun. All right, so Christine... How many people, let's talk about your connections. How many people do you have on your email list? Don't be embarrassed by this either. How many people do you have on your email list? How many people like your Facebook page? And how many Instagram followers? Okay, 48 people on our email list. Great start. That's a good place to start. <laughs> All right, so Christine has 48. Um, yes, oh, and Christina, by the way, 
Christina, who's commenting right now, is hosting an Instagram challenge in her group. No, her name is Chris. I don't know what you're saying, Christina. But anyways, by the way, oh, are you saying like you would be the person <laughs> photographing my shoot? Anyways, Christina is hosting an Instagram challenge. So while we're talking about trying to build up your things to get them to convert, Christina's hosting an Instagram challenge in her group, um, how to make your business stand out. Go ahead and post your Facebook group in the comments. Okay. So Christine has 48 people. I wish I had like a calculator here. I know it's gonna be this, this difficult. <laughs> Isn't it so corny? All right, if we, let me do the math on this. 1% of 48 is 0.48. Now we can convert, what I was saying before, we can convert one to 3%, all right? All right, so we're almost up to a whole person. If her list converts at 3%, she can get one client from that. So we can count, let's say, Christine, we can count that your email list, you will get one person from it, all right? I think that's fair to say. Two is like almost one and three is a little bit over. So I think that it's fair to say we can get one client from your email list, all right? So now we need to find two more clients and she wants to book three at the end of the month. She has 215 likes on Facebook and 407 people following her on Instagram. So right there, let's just like add all this up. 215 plus 407 equals 622. She has an access and a reach to 622 people. You guys kind of forget like how many people you actually are in front of every day and how easy it is to get in front of them if you just post some shit <laughs> Sorry guys, I look, get a little carried away. All right, so if everybody on her Facebook and her Instagram converted to become her client at 3%, she would be able to book 18 clients. 18 clients. How awesome, that's super exciting, right? But what I bet Christine isn't doing is she probably isn't selling to them or she isn't giving them any value, right? <laughs> like, yeah, like Chris, you have access to so many people but when you don't show up consistently or when you don't give people good content and you half-ass the content you're giving to them and then also guys when you don't sell to them then of course no one's gonna buy your shit because you're not even selling to them right or you're not even showing up every single day all right so here is Christine and she has access to, like, there's a potential for her to get 18 clients from social media, get one client from her email list, but she actually, one, has to show up in front of them, two, give them good content, and then three, sell them, all right? So what I would do if I were you, Christine, I would totally 110% focus on my email list and focus on my social media. And I would go fucking hard. Like, I would give a lot of my clients tons of valuable information not the half-ass not the half-ass information guys not like the half-ass pdfs or like the half-ass kind of thing and then i would show up every single day and then i would add in a bonus of reaching out to a couple people just through like facebook messenger or something like that i would also add that in yeah christina i think we do too because i think good content is confusing answer this for me guys do you guys get confused about what good content really looks like? I think that's the biggest thing. I think nobody, um, one, knows what to write, and then two, when people do write it, it, it comes off so weird. Like, I used to, when I used to write, like, blog posts or anything like that, I would always write them of, like, I'm a news anchor, and, like, read this blog post. Like, this is very official. It was just, it was, like, so dumb. <laughs> the dumbest stuff. Um... And I wasn't giving it, honestly, when I said to myself one day, I think one of these coaches asked me, one of the coaches, um, Kat Latour's I work with, was like, are you really doing everything? Are you really doing everything you can? And I was like, damn, no, I'm not, right? Like, when we think about our goals and then when you think about it and ask yourself, am I really, like, giving this blog post my all? Am I really, like creating a challenge for my clients? Am I really giving them everything I have to give? Think about that for a second. So now, 
when I create content and go for things, I go for things that are like, man, I'm giving it my all. Like these, like this challenge right here that I'm hosting, probably I've had other challenges I gave a lot, uh, but I've had other challenges where I kind I did, I half-assed it, like I called it in. But this challenge, like this, showing up every single day live, going live for at least 20 minutes, you know, creating like PDFs, doing more trainings. I mean, this is a training that I can say with 110% certainty that I have given this thing, this content, my all, right? And then if someone was to say, are you really doing everything you can, Shannon, to make 10K months? I would probably still answer no. There's always more I can be doing, right? There's always more I can be giving. There's always more I can be sharing. There's always more ways I can show up, right? But I hope this has excited you guys. Yeah, or engaging content. Yeah. But I want you guys to just go ahead right now and map out, you know, if you converted your email list at 1% to 3%. If you converted, add up all your social media followers, your Instagram followers, and say, like, ask what the conversion is at 2%. You know, you might have overlapping followers or something like that. But... What it does is it makes you look at the potential that you have to reach people. And that's super exciting. And that's all, that's also like really motivating of, wow, you know, here I was thinking that I don't have access to anybody. Nobody wants my shit and nobody's going to buy and that whole whiny thing we all go through. And then say, oh my God, I have access to like so many people. And then it's just a matter of, okay, what am I going to share with them? Good, valuable, engaging content. Then I also need to start actually pitching to them. And then probably before any of these things, you guys need to be showing up consistently on social media. Who here does not show up consistently on social media? I'm sure we have someone here who does not show up consistently on social media. And don't be ashamed. Don't feel guilty about it. Most of my clients have not. They have avoided it, avoided it, and avoided it for a really long time. Christine ebbs and flows. Yeah, I've seen people do that a lot too. It's they dip in and they dip out and they dip in and dip out. Hey, Marianne's here. Marianne just signed up for the six week boot camp, and I'm so excited to do her free 60 minute private money training class with her. That's going to be so exciting. But she got it because she signed up early, bird. That's right. Tammy's here. Me, I'm really bad at it. Uh, thank you guys so much for sharing. Like, I know how scary it is to be like, I know I should be doing it and I'm not doing it. It's really scary, right? But I think that the, the bigger issue comes in of uh, showing up. Like, this is, now I'm going off on like a tangent. But I think the bigger issue comes in of me showing up every single day and like really sharing parts of me and really being like, I'm here for people to judge and critique and that's the really scary part of social media and I know asking for the sale is really scary for people too especially people who are sharing through like if you share through your personal page I avoided that for a really long time sharing through my personal page like I was really scared of people thinking I'm desperate and judging me and you know oh like what's Shannon doing now or something and I, I used to avoid it for that reason or I used to avoid showing up consistently on social media because no one buys for me, no one buys for anything. You know, like that whole mindset block of no one will buy anything. But coming back to the marketing strategy, showing up consistently on social media, add up all the numbers of the followers you have, of all the, I mean of all the likes and the followers on Instagram, add up people on your email list, and then see what the conversion rate is at 1%, is at 2%, and is at 3%. And then you will see, oh my God, I have a lot of potential to sell to people, to make a lot of money, and I've just been avoiding that. And we can get into that more. But that is day six, from broke to booked out. Yeah, Christina's all over social media. She's awesome with social media. Um, so that is day six from broke to booked out, and we came up with the marketing strategy. So again, recap, step one, set your goal. Set your goal for 30 days. Remember we made a decision last week? We made a decision on that Monday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Make sure that decision ties in with the 30-day goal you're setting for the marketing strategy, all right? Step two is then I want you guys, I'm going to add this in, I want you guys to count up the number, like I said, the likes, the followers, your email list, and see what it converts at 1%. So you would take that number times 0 0.01, and that would be the amount of people that could convert. 
see what it converts at 1%, see what it converts at 2%, see what it converts at 3%. If your social media doesn't add up, if it doesn't make sense for you, you know, if you want to book five and you're not having the numbers show up at one or two or three, then that's fine. Then come up with a couple other ways with how many people you're going to reach out to. Remember we said if you reached out to 100 people within 30 days, you can find at least one client at 1%. My husband helped us with the math. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's your marketing strategy. As simple as that. We know we need to show up consistently on social media. We know we need to start giving value and good engaging content. And then we also need to be asking ourselves, oh, well, we also need to be selling. Then we also need to be asking ourselves, am I really doing everything I can in order to hit that goal? Right? Okay, guys. The six week boot camp. Six weeks to become a marketing badass and master money is open for enrollment and it will close this Friday. Marianne is also, she is in, she is ready and locked and loaded. I am still taking nine more seats, which I'm super excited about. Nine more seats in this boot camp. The boot camp closes Friday. And if you love this kind of stuff that I've been doing, the boot camp goes to another level of this. And the boot camp is going to be amazing. But I only want people who are in there who said, I'm done with half asking in my business. I am ready to go hard. Put me in. I'm ready. I'm creating like next level wedding pros and creative female entrepreneurs from that boot camp. All right, guys, I'll see you here tomorrow for day seven. Bye.